In the month of June, we had applied for UK visa as we wanted to join our daughter as she proceeds to her college in London. I was informed that it would take somewhere around six to eight weeks for the visa process. And my tickets were already pre-booked for September 1st week. Well, weeks passed by and months passed by and by the end of August, I was getting quite anxious as there were no updates from the visa office. So I decided to just go there even without any appointment. And thank God for God's favor that a gentleman came forward to help me. The gentleman checked our visa status and he said, ma'am, sorry, there will be unexpected delays because of the Ukraine issue and that we don't even know when it's going to come because even people who have applied in the month of May did not receive their visas. And that was quite disappointing for me. I did not feel like leaving that place. I was standing there, you know, pressing and expecting God to move. The gentleman saw me standing there and he said, ma'am, I will go a second time and check your process. And he came and said, sorry, ma'am, there is no improvement. The only way that I can help you is cancel the first application and reapply as a fresh application under priority basis, which means I have to pay 50,000 extra for each visa. I had no peace about it. I was so disappointed. I was so discouraged. I was on the verge of crying, but I just started praying in the spirit. And I said, Lord, this cannot happen. I started speaking scripture over myself. The gentleman went in to get the cancellation form because without canceling the prior one, we cannot activate the priority one. So he came out without the form and I was surprised. He said, ma'am, I do not know what happened, but both your applications are processed and your visas will come by tomorrow evening. I was really surprised. I shouted, praise the Lord. Isn't this a miracle? I'm reminded of the scripture which says, they that trust in the Lord shall not be put to shame, but our faces are radiant. I want to thank my church family who stood by me, encouraging me and praying with me. I'm Archana Thota and this is my story of hope.